let me start this off by saying I wanted to upload this video a while ago, but I really just never got around to it. So now that I'm on break, here we go. Well, not on break, but like, you know what? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the Speedy Weekly Hoop Recap. Whatever happened to that? Um, so, yeah, that's, um, <laughs> it's hilarious, cause like, wow, it's just, wow, I don't even know how to describe it, we started it, we got out our first two vids, but then, the next week, I was kinda busy, so then I was like, you know, I'll, I'll just upload the Monday. And I didn't upload the Monday. But then the next week, I was like, you know what? I'll upload this week. I didn't even watch much basketball net last week. But then I didn't really know what to talk about. And then I didn't get... I, I had the time. I just didn't... Okay. There are a few reasons why I didn't upload for the past few months. One is that I was busy. That's probably the weakest reason. Re reason but it is kind of true. I was busy some weeks. I had other stuff that I need to do. The second reason would probably be that I just didn't. I didn't have the motivation to. Really, because that also relates to me just not watching enough basketball. At the beginning of the year, I was mainly only watching the Raptors and not watching any other teams. So I was thinking, you know what? I don't really just want to talk about the Raptors the whole time. I want to talk about other teams too, so I won't upload this week. So, you know, next week I'll, ha I'll come back even better. And some weeks, I just didn't. I just, you know, I didn't. I, I could've, and I probably should've, but I didn't. So, now here we are, about a fourth into the NBA season, maybe even a third into the NBA season. And, I'm back. So, let's talk about basketball, guys. That's the, pretty much the quick explanation of what's been going on. Now, let's just talk about basketball. What's been happening? Um, I'm gonna start with the East, cause, you know, when it comes to the East, of course, there's, actually the whole league in general, there's been a lot of health and safety stuff, a lot of health and safety protocols that have been going on, a lot of players sitting out, not sitting out, but like, they're out because, you know, health and safety, so, yeah, that's been a big thing lately, but, um, KD and the Nets, man, they're still going strong. KD is an MVP candidate at the moment. He's just, he's been playing amazing. That's all I can say. I haven't watched many of the games except when he played against the Raptors, and that was, I didn't even watch much of that one, to be honest. But, it's been, KD has just been amazing, man. He, I heard he averaged like 35, 8, and 7 in the for like past in five on a five game stretch when Harden was out and when Kyrie Kyrie's still out but yeah I'm gonna talk about Kyrie right after this yeah KD has been dominating Kyrie man he stood his ground he did not let up he just did not play and now guess what the Nets are negotiating terms with Kyrie and it looks like he will be coming back in games that are not in Brooklyn so Kyrie, at the end of the day, I think Kyrie won this fight. The Nets figured out that they needed Kyrie, considering all the guys in health and safety right now. And now Kyrie's coming back. So I, I'm glad to see Kyrie back. I think it's just great to see good players play basketball. You know what I'm saying? So to see Kyrie back, that will be amazing. Now, moving on. Uh, the... I'm not going to talk about every team in depth like that, but, you know. The Raptors, my favorite team. I really don't have much to say about them, except Scotty Barnes, Barnes is really good at basketball. And, um, that's about it. Siakam's back. He's averaging similar numbers to his all-star start of the year. Back in 2020, I mean. And, that's great to see. Then there's also teams like the Heat. They have a lot of guys in health and safety right now. And they recently lost to the Pistons. But they're still I still think that the Heat are doing really good. 
the Bulls are doing really good. They recently beat the Lakers with DeMar DeRozan hitting a game or like a clutch shot. I don't know if it was a game winner exactly, but the Bulls have been doing pretty good in the past few weeks. Um, and the Sixers without Ben Simmons. A Ben Simmons trade still hasn't happened yet, which is kind of weird. And the, uh, another team like the Pacers, the Pacers are going to a rebuild. So maybe the maybe the Pacers and the Sixers get something going on. The Pacers have Ben Simmons and Malcolm Brock. If I were the if I were the Sixers, I would draw up something like Ben Simmons for Chris Levert. Like, Ben Simmons for Chris LeVert even straight up. That's not even bad, because... Or even... If you did Ben Simmons for Chris... Ben Simmons and, like, Matisse... Actually, no. Shake Milton for uh, Sabonis and LeVert. That would even be a nice deal, low-key. Because then the Pacers get a lineup of Brogdon, Milton, uh, TJ Warren if he comes back. Ben Simmons at the power forward and turn at center. And that's... Honestly, even for a rebuilding team, that's pretty good. And then the Sixers get Tyrese Mac. Tyrese Maxey's actually been doing amazing with ben without Ben Simmons. He's been flourishing. So you get Tyrese Maxey. You get Karis LeVert. You get at the small forward, probably like I don't even know who they have at small forward these days. George Yang was doing amazing for some reason. I don't know why. Um, maybe Furkan Korkmaz. I don't know. But then Tobias Harris and Joel. And that actually sounds like a really nice team. So I hope that's a trade that I'd want to happen. So, you know, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Sixers. Ben Simmons has been pretty quiet lately, but hopefully he could just come back to playing basketball, man. Um, moving on. The what's what's another the the Cavs. Why are they so good? I don't know. I guess Darius Garland, Jared Allen, Colin Sexton, that whole thing. Evan Mobley, too. Whew. That team is actually... They're like a top five team, top three team in the East right now. So, they are looking scary. If this Cavs team actually exceeds my expectations, makes the playoffs and does amazing, or like at least gets a first round appearance, that would be really good, honestly. They're like in the playoff picture right now, and I mean, they deserve it, so, you know, I think that the Cavs could actually have a nice, uh, the Cavs could be do, the Cavs could be pretty good. Moving on, what's another team? I think that's all I really have to say about the East, I mean, Cade is back, he's been doing decent, the Magic are bad, the Pistons are bad, of course, a lot of teams are bad and a lot of teams are good, what else can I say? Now. But y'all really want to hear about the West. The West is... It, you could say it's a lot more interesting than the East, but at the same time, I don't really know if that's true. You got the two MVP candidates really, like, doing am amazing. One of them on a good team, one of them on a bad team. Jokic, whew, Jokic, Jokic, Jokic. He won MVP last year and somehow got better, so... Having one of the best historically most amazing seasons of all time the nuggets are plus 30 their plus minus is plus 30 when Jokic is on the court he has a pr of like 35 point something right now he is breaking every possible statistic record in nba history that's how good this man is playing so you know, and then Curry beating the three-point record. Obviously, we all knew it was going to happen. He wasn't shooting. He wasn't. He kind of cooled down when he was, like, getting closer to beating that record. Because he was really checking up threes to try and get closer to the record. But, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's Steph Curry at the end of the day. And a lot of people have him for MVP. My pick, probably between KD and Jokic right now. I wanted Luka to win it at the beginning of the year, but obviously that is completely gone because the Mavericks aren't doing great right now. But you know, then moving on, you still got teams like the Lakers who are starting to figure it out now that LeBron's back. 
um, LeBron is carrying them, and they also got Isaiah Thomas now in their lineup, he's doing, he's getting buckets, he's getting his second chance, and you love to see guys like Isaiah Thomas doing stuff like that, like, Isaiah Thomas, you can't really root, it's hard to root against Isaiah Thomas, you know what I'm saying, so you know, uh, then moving on, there's also teams like the Suns, the Suns have been doing amazing, they have come back, and it looks like they're gonna be up there too again this year, with Chris Paul still there, the Booker's still there, all those guys still there, and it's looking nice. So, I'm excited to see what the Suns do this year. Then you still got the Clippers with Paul George. They're pretty good. You got the... You got, um... The Blazers kind of struggling, and now they don't exactly know what they're doing. You get Anthony Edwards now. He's starting to flourish in his second year. He's doing decent. And then you got the rest. You got the Rockets who started off the year terrible, but now, like, they're starting to pick it up. You got the Pelicans who, they're n they don't have Zion right now, and Zion is looking like 400 pounds, but, <laughs> um, when he comes back, hopefully they do better. Right now, they are nowhere near the play-in, so, hopefully they do better, because, you know, I just want to see teams do good. As long as that team is not named the Celtics, then I really don't care. <laughs> but yeah, uh, at the end of the day, I think there's not r really much else to talk about with the West. I, I mean, there probably is more, but I don't want this video to be too long. I will be making still the Speedy Hoops weekly recaps. Weekly, quote-unquote weekly. Some weeks I might not do them. I don't know, but... Yeah, I still am going to try to keep them as consistent as I can. But then again, I will be just uploading sometimes random videos about how, you know, yeah, just how the NBA is doing, stuff that I wanted to talk about like really quickly. I'm going to be uploading random videos like that from time to time, especially in the next two weeks because I have less work to do. So, you know, I can go on the grind on YouTube with both channels now. And yeah, so that's pretty much it for the for this video. If you enjoyed, like, subscribe. Actually, is there anything really else I have to talk about? I don't think so. Yeah, that that's pretty much it for the West, because there's not much in the West I have to talk about. So yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, share, comment down below to six ideas you have on this channel. That'll be for me today. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.